I've mounted my display inside a piece of plastic downspout, uh, plastic guttering downspout. It provides uh, a nice box shape. I've drilled a couple of holes so I can use it like an angle bracket and just screw it up underneath the shelf there uh, on its uh, four-sided angle bracket as it were. So that's the display. Uh, there's some power from a uh, 12 volt, 15 volt transformer, uh, the little DC transformer. Again, rather untidy wires, but I have clipped the wires to the sensor up so that they're out of the way of the belts. You don't want them getting caught in the belts. And so what I've done is uh, place the magnet on this wheel. I don't know, is it called the bull wheel uh, that's in there? I've put the sensor on there. I'm not sure about the positioning. That's about as close as I can get it without it touching. So what I can do now is plug the lathe in. Now I've checked to see that there isn't any uh, wire about to get caught up in any belting. Uh, there's my remote pod at the moment, just as a trailing wire. And onto forwards and you see the sensor there picking up the speed slow it down speed it up it looks fine a little bit of a flash from the LED on the sensor 335, 48 um, hertz. So if I hold the thing there, you can see the combination. That's six, is it 62 hertz? I don't know. I don't know what the display is set to on there. 431 RPM. 435 RPM on the spindle. And uh, 77 on there. So we've got now a display for relatively low cost. Okay, I've been fiddling about for an afternoon, uh, but as I say, using things to hand, such as this bit of plastic downspout and the corner of a computer case, it's not thick, heavy metal. Uh, relatively light metal but uh, if I stop it now it's solid enough in there it's not flying if you know what I mean it's the bracket has been shaped to fit in onto the slope of the thing carrying the um, lay shaft so that it's supported on the bottom and all the nuts have been done quite tightly now so that should be yeah it's all nice and solid there. Right, I'm pleased that works. Uh, pretty happy with that addition. Still haven't got my wiring. Those that see this and see the entire tidy wiring. Uh, I'm waiting for my three core, three phase and earth wire. And at that point, I'm going to make a list of all the jobs I need to do because in order to attach it, I've got to take the motor off to get to the cover plate over the terminal block on the motor uh, and at the same time as doing that I can do uh, several other jobs that I need to do with the motor off the lathe uh, so that's when I get that wire and that will be a job to tidy up the wiring back there I've got the clips to hand uh, ready to clip the wire up and um, we will do that in due course. I'm doing a run just to allow the lubrication uh, to get spread around the various uh, rotating parts. So I've lubri lubricated the um, lay shaft and put some oil in there and tried to lubricate that a little bit as well. So um, everything seems to be running. The biggest noise is the fan on the inverter. 
everything else is running quite nicely and quietly. Uh, really sounds very sweet indeed. And in the meantime, until I get a better device, I'm using this tiny little oil can, which is able to depress the nipples uh, in the oil uh, oil nipples. But fortunately, under here, somebody's replaced the nipples with oil cups. Um, it would be great if I could find a source for those cups because they seem to work very well. I mean, it makes it a lot easier to get the oil into the device. You can't see much with that uh, guard on, but yeah, everything's running sweetly and I think that helps. It just means the lubrication's gone on. I've used some industrial super glue to glue the magnet onto the bull wheel. So the sensor is now reading the speed A little bit of wobble on the clutch wheel. It's not affecting anything. Very responsive. I like the response of that. I'm happy with the settings on the inverter uh, for the responsiveness of the lathe. And just listen, you can still hear when I turn it off that the lathe just continues ringing. There is one thing I wanted to try which is the no volt release type operation. I'm going to turn it on to go forwards. That's on going forwards. I'm going to simulate a power cut. That's a power cut. That's showing up on there. And I'm going to turn the power back on again. And as I turn the power back on again, even though this is in the forward direction it's not running so I turn it off it goes to ready turn it on okay so that's reassuring that uh, if there's a power cut and the power comes back on again the lathe isn't going to start turning even if I've left this turned to forward position very useful I haven't got a, a safety switch on it yet, but I do intend to put a, a safety switch uh, linked into the contacts on the inverter, which are the uh, e-stop contacts. <laughs> 